Hi, hope you're having a good end to 2022. Wish you and your families a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This time, instead of featuring one more episode, we said let's do something else. We decided to feature some of the highlights from our conversations in 2022. Uh, we thought that would be of value to you. We didn't want to add to the clutter by sharing one more episode with you. So in the highlights, we feature snippets from people like Tarun Khanna who talk about leadership to last. What uh, differentiates, what are some of the attributes that uh, differentiates leaders that built to last versus some of the others. We have David Bradford of Stanford talking about this concept of staying on the same side of the net, which I think holds the key to 80% of interpersonal grief uh, that we all experience. I think whether it's a professional life or personal life, that one thing could make a big difference in the way we have conversations and how we can be productive. We have Raghu Ananta Narayanan, who studied uh, Indic wisdom for more than four decades, talking about the distinction between doing and being, where one of them is re uh, regenerative and the other is depletive. We have Dan Pink talking about why uh, paradoxically uh, research studies show that bronze medalists are often happier than silver medalists. So these are just four excerpts, but uh, many more like these. Hopefully you'll find them of value as we round off the year and as you reflect and uh, prepare yourself for 2023. As we move into the new year, we are excited about some of the projects that we are working on. One is clearly a uh, significantly improved website with better UI so that you can get to what you want, especially with a better search functionality. We are working on the notion of a play to potential community, which is a space where people can come in and share uh, insights around some of the themes around leadership and potential. Uh, some beta testers are sort of uh, spending time on it and giving us valuable feedback. We're trying to see if we can come up with uh, small workbooks, which could be digital, where we leverage some of the audio content, but create smallish workbooks where people could reflect and journal, and they could use this for their development. So it could be a combination of the digital asset we have and some physical copy that they can work on. So some of these are cooking and hopefully we launch some of these in 2023 and I hope uh, you'll find them of value. As you know, this podcast is a passion project and so far we've been doing it for five years. It's not behind a paywall. We don't have any advertisers. Uh, and clearly I've derived a lot from it in terms of my learning and also the increased goodwill and trust of the people around me. But this time I want to sort of shine the light on the chefs in the kitchen that make it possible. There are two people that work with me closely. Akash and Arman, who spend uh, hours painstakingly cleaning up the audio, slicing the audio, tagging it, cross-connecting it, you know, uh, adding uh, music on top, providing visuals. So there's a lot of effort that goes on beyond just having the conversation, which makes it easy for you to consume the content. So this uh, year end, I'd urge you to sort of take a moment and send uh, your appreciation towards them. It could just be an email saying thank you and uh, sharing your gratitude with them, or it could be a small contribution. So in the show notes, you will see a link which has their details uh, if you want to contribute towards them. Uh, that would really mean a lot to me and to them as we sort of uh, round off the year. Thank you in advance and uh, best wishes once again for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.